Welcome back, Night Owls! And tonight, the internet challenges us and we will answer the call. Uh, about a year ago, I was shown this particular scary looking integral by one of my calc students, who did not get this in a class, but she just said, Hey, I saw this one on the internet, do you know how to solve this? And it took me a couple minutes, but I figured out how you could solve the integral without actually doing any anti-differentiation. So, the integral that she showed me was this! It's, yeah, it's been circulating on the internet for a little while. And as I was solving through the, the as I took a couple minutes to solve through it, I was, I forgot exactly what my reaction was, but I was pretty clearly enjoying myself figuring this out. <laughs> and I essentially said, wow, you really like your job, or something like that. Uh, but, the key to this is we first have to break up this integral, integral negative 2 to 2 x cubed cosine x over 2 plus 1 half all in parentheses times squared 4 minus x squared dx. We first break that up into this x cubed cosine x over 2 plus 1 half, that gets multiplied, sorry, the x cubed cosine x over 2, that gets multiplied by the square root function. And the plus one half, that gets multiplied by the square root function. So we have, so let's worry about this integral on the left first. Integral from negative 2 to 2 of x cubed cosine x over 2 times square root of 4 minus x squared dx. We'll notice this whole function, the entire integrand, is actually an odd function. That means it has rotational symmetry about the origin. How do we see that? Well, what happens if we replace x with negative x? Over here, the squaring doesn't care if we have an x or a negative x, so this part is the same. Uh, cosine x over 2. Uh, cosine is an even function, right? If we replace our x with a negative x over here, everything here will remain the negative of what it was before, and the cosine of that will be the same as what it was before, right? Cosine of negative theta equals cosine theta. Cosine is an even function. So we have these two pieces that are the same as they were before. And lastly, this x cubed, if we replace x with negative x, negative x cubed equals negative x cubed. Right? x cubed is an odd function. So you multiply an odd by two evens. I know with integers, an odd times an even times an even is an even, but with functions, yeah, you act as if you're summing them, right? So you, uh, odd function times even function times even function would have the same parity, same even or oddness, as odd number plus even number plus even number. So either way, we, we multiply those together. Uh, if this is the negative of what it was before, this is the same as what it was before, this is the same as what it was before, we all together get the negative of what we started with. So, we have this integral of an odd function, across an interval that is symmetric about x equals 0. So whatever is happening from negative 2 to 2 is exactly cancelled by whatever is happening from 0 to 2. So this whole integral is just a great big 0, which means we can pretend it's not there. 0 plus something, we just pretend that the 0 isn't even there. This function here, uh, this integral here, integral from negative 2 to 2 of 1 half square root 4 minus x squared dx, uh, if you try to integrate that with conventional means, there are some tricks that you can use. I even talked about one of them in a recent video. But there's actually a way of doing this, again, without any anti-differentiation. Let's take a look. First thing we do is we factor out the one-half, right? Obviously, the, the, the integral of one-half of a function is the same as one-half the integral of the original function. Uh, if you view it as area under a curve, if I'm just compressing my curve by 2, then my area gets uh, diminished by 2, right? That, that's, that is not the hard part. The hard part is dealing with its integral from negative 2 to 2 of square root 4 minus x squared. Well, let's ask, what does this function here look like? What does square root of 4 minus x squared look like? y equals square root 4 minus x squared, square both sides y squared equals 4 minus x squared, add x squared to both sides, x squared plus y squared equals 4. It's a semicircle, right? Semi because it's a positive square root, so the full circle would have positive and negative values of y. This one only gets you uh, positive values of y. Semicircle of radius 2, 
centered at the origin. And so if it's the full circle of radius 2, that would be areas pi r squared, r is 2, that would be 4 pi. Semicircle is just half as big as the original circle. So half of 4 pi is 2 pi. So again, we've got uh, a full circle radius 2 would be 4 pi. Semicircle radius 2 would be 2 pi. Then because of this 1 half out here that never showed up, or that, that we haven't factored in yet, we'll have 1 half of 2 pi, that's going to be pi. If you look back at the original problem statement in tiny print here, it says Wi-Fi password is the first 10 digits of the answer. So you would just have to know first 10 digits of pi. And I'm not sure if they're including the 3 out front as a digit, but worst case you'd say 3.14159265535, if you happen to know that, which is decently reasonable uh, to for some people, people who are interested in math, uh, to know pi to that many digits. And that's all there is to it. You actually don't need to do any anti-differentiation. And in fact, if you try to do anti-differentiation, uh, you'll end up with a harder challenge than just doing it the geometry way. Uh, especially, I, I don't even want to think about what that x cubed cosine, I mean, you you look at that yeah, you could maybe, I and mean, if it's just the x cubed cosine, you could maybe do integration by parts three times, but then you have this stray thing over here, and there's no good u substitution that works on this. Uh, you really, you want to use the fact that it's an odd function here. As always, if you like the way I explain things and want to arrange private lessons, click the link in the description. And until next time, this is Dr. Nighttime wishing you a good night.